Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Django tutorial series. In this video, we'll get started with our app. So in the previous video, we created our project, which will serve as the general environment, and each project can contain multiple apps for one website. So in this video, we'll create our first app for this website and the view that corresponds with it. So I've already written most of the code that we need, but I'll go through it line by line and explain how it works. So first you're going to need to create your app. So within command prompt, turn off the server. So just press control C and then type in Python manage.py start app and then the name of your app. So I called mine app. So Python manage.py start app and then the name of the app you want to create. And once you press enter there, what will happen is that Django will create a new directory called app. And this app directory contains all of the files you need to configure your app. So first let's start off with views.py. This is a file that's automatically created once you create your app. So hopping into views, what I want you to write is this code. So first we're going to import render and import HTTP response. And before I go through this code, I'll just explain what a view is. So a view in Django is a Python function that gets an HTTP request and returns an HTTP response. And the HTTP response that it returns can be an HTML file. So in future videos, we'll replace this simple text with an HTML file to allow for further configuration. But what I want you to do is write def index request. And then within this function, all you need to return is an HTTP response of hello world. All right, once that's done, hop into settings.py because we want to tell Django that we created a new app. So inside of the installed apps directory or inside of the installed apps array, create a new entry and just name it the name of your app. And you'll know what the name of your app is if you forgot up here underneath your project. So mine is just called app. So I wrote app down here and then next we'll hop into URLs. So URLs.py is not a file that is initially created when you create your app. So you're just, you're just going to need to create a new file name it urls.py and remember if you don't know how to do that right click on the directory you want to place it in then press new file and then name it whatever you want so hop into this urls.py file that you just created and write down from django.urls import path from point import views and what this point is is just the current directory that you're in so from the app directory import views.py and then now you're going to create a URL pattern. So this URL pattern will be an array or this URL patterns array will contain a path and this path will be index. So just nothing. And then we're going to point to views that index remember views that index is the function that we created here. So if we create another function and name it index two, for example, inside of URLs, we'd call this views.index2 and we'll call the name index as well. All right, once you've done that, hop into urls.py within the project folder. So underneath test site, there's another file called urls.py. Now this one is automatically created. So hop into urls.py and then write down this code. So the URL pattern for the admin path will already be created. So the only one that you need to write is this line and this line will be path and then the index path and then include app.urls or whatever the name of your app is dot urls. Now, once you save this and run it, so let's run our server. Let's say Python manage dot py run server. I'll be right. I'll be running mine on port 8088. And once you run that, what you're going to see is hello world. And remember, this is at the index path and we can change this index path by hopping back into our VS code. Let's change this path to, let's say, 
index2. Save it. And let's hop back into our file. If we reload, as you can see, the page is not found. But if we write down index2, now our page is found. So if you have multiple URLs, you can create multiple paths, each of them corresponding to a different view for this app. So in future tutorials, we will create more paths that will correspond to HTML files. But here you've get, you have a basic idea of how to create a first view for your first app and how to get the HTTP responses working. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code, and I'll see you in the next one.